Hello guys, welcome and namaste. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Raj and today we are going for a quick roundup about the eclipse and its type which is done by me as an assignment for the 7th National Astronomy Olympiad 2020 conducted by the Nepal Astronomical Society NASO. Uh, so let's quickly come towards the central topic of today's discussion that is the eclipse and its types. So what is basically an eclipse? See, eclipse is uh, an astronomical phenomena in which there is an alignment between the sun, the earth and the moon or the moon and the earth respectively. Eclipse occurs due to the occultation or the transit. Occultation means the complete blockage of the sun's rays and transit means uh, the partial blockage of the sun's rays on the basis of the uh, blockage, it's broadly divided into two types that is a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse. So let's come towards the lunar eclipse. See, lunar eclipse is the type of eclipse in which the shadows of the sun is blocked by the earth so that the lunar surface gets completely overshadowed and does not receive any sunlight that occurs when the earth lies in between the sun and the moon. See, why don't we occur lunar eclipse every day? It's because the orbit of the moon is tilted a few degrees with the orbit. So a lunar eclipse occurs during a full moon only. So in a full moon, you occasionally get to see a lunar eclipse, but not always as I already said, because the axis of the moon is tilted a few degrees with the axis of the earth. Now when the earth lies in between the sun and the moon, the earth casts two different kinds of shadow over the moon surface. Suppose this is a sun and this is the earth and this is the moon. Now when the sun rays are coming and when they are blocked by the earth, now it, there is a shadow region, isn't there? There is a shadow region here and there is a moon here. So now there are two types of shadow the central and a dark shadow which is known as the umbral shadow and the next is the penumbral shadow which is sideways of the umbral shadow and which is a fainter and a lighter kind of shadow now on the basis of the position of shadow there are basically three types of the lunar eclipse the first one is a total lunar eclipse the second one is a partial lunar eclipse and the next one is a penumbral lunar eclipse now what is a total lunar eclipse um, when the moon when the moon lies in the umbral shadow region umbral shadow region of the sun so, uh, sorry of the umbral shadow regions uh, created by the earth then it is known as the total lunar eclipse see in a total lunar eclipse what happens is that from the moon from the moon we don't see any ray of the sun coming towards the moon because it is totally blocked by the earth and uh, and while when the view is seen from the Earth surface then we see a reddish color of the moon because of the rayless scattering of the light see uh, there is seven different color in the visible spectrum and uh, due to the rayless scattering the blue color is scattered into the surface of the earth and the longer wavelength the longer red color wavelength goes towards the moon making the moon look a uh, reddish color from the earth surface and the reddish color uh, makes the name of the bloody moon so that's about the total lunar eclipse and next is the partial lunar eclipse which occurs when the moon lies in between the penumbral region and the umbral region that is intermediate between the umbral and the penumbral region and during the partial lunar eclipse what happens is that the region surrounded by the earth shadow appears to be darker than the other side so that was about the partial lunar eclipse and the next one is a penumbral lunar eclipse that occurs when the moon lies in the penumbral region of the shadow. So that was pretty much about the lunar eclipse and it is particularly very safe to observe the lunar eclipse in the night sky and it is observable from uh, um, now let's come towards the solar eclipse. See solar eclipse occurs when a new moon comes in between the sun and the earth. When a new moon orbits in between the 
sun and the earth that is when there is a perfect alignment between the sun the moon and the earth the solar eclipse is most likely to occur see when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth the moon casts two different kinds of shadow as usual the umbral shadow which is a darker shadow and a penumbral shadow which lies outward and that is a darker or uh, so that is a fainter or a lighter kind of shadow see on the basis of the shadow types the solar eclipse can be divided into four major types and they are the total solar eclipse a partial solar eclipse a nullar solar eclipse and a hybrid type of solar eclipse so let's come towards a total solar eclipse in a total solar eclipse the sun is completely invisible that is the sun rays are totally disappeared from the earth surface because it is totally blocked by the moon see during a total solar eclipse the surface of the earth that lies inside the umbral region created by the moon the umbral region from the umbral region the total solar eclipse is observable and it occurs in the path of totality that is the uh, position on the earth that is casted by the moon while orbiting around the earth see from the uh, umbral region when we see the to uh, total solar eclipse there exists a particular phenomena called a totality a totality is a complete shutdown or the blockage of the light entering into the earth surface from the sun because it is blocked by the moon uh, so in totality what we see is a clear black blackness clear blackness uh, surrounded by a fainter corona outside the surface of the moon so this is about the total solar eclipse now let me introduce two major terms of the total solar eclipse that is the bailey's beads and the diamond ring effect when the moon is about to achieve the totality about to uh, just capture all the blackness all the blackness or all the lights of the sun uh, then when there is still a small gap remain a small gap remain through which the light can enter and the crest and the crest are such a range that it appears like a beads and the and the fainter lights that uh, comes enters into the uh, narrow aperture then it's known as the bailey's beads and almost towards the totality there exists one point when there is a single bead entering into the earth surface and the point is known as the diamond ring and after diamond ring a totality is achieved that is total neutrally black blackness is achieved known as the totality so let's come towards the partial lunar partial solar eclipse see in partial solar eclipse what happens is that the uh, the moon the moon's uh, moon's shadow uh, tries to come tries to, uh, what happens in a partial solar moon just tries to tries to cover up the uh, sun but never totally completing total uh, never totally completing the uh, total sunlight entering into the earth surface that is lying in the uh, penumbral region that it tries to uh, achieve the totality but not actually just passes over the surface of the sun and known as the partial lunar eclipse next is the annular annual so annular solar eclipse in which the moon lies in just as the center and the uh, sun lies just around it forming two concentric uh, circles with the same uh, center and uh, a fainter corona is observed on the all circumference of the moon uh, forming an annular space known as the annular solar eclipse and the last one is a very special hybrid type of solar eclipse uh, in which uh, from the two different parts of the earth uh, during the uh, point when totality is going to be achieved then from one place we can achieve a uh, totality that is a total solar eclipse and from the next point of the earth we can see there is an annular solar eclipse so the both type of eclipse can be observable at the same time so this type of solar eclipse is known as a hybrid solar eclipse so i guess uh, this lecture was complete with this and you got a basic knowledge about eclipse and the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse uh, so that's all in conclusion I would like to say eclipses are uh, one of the most important phenomena in our life uh, that we see in the astronomy and it's a basic and it's, and it's basic knowledge it works uh, forwards us towards the higher knowledge in astronomy so i i would like to suggest you to observe the eclipse and take safety precautions while observing the solar eclipse particularly that is using the certified uh, glasses while uh, viewing eclipse glasses 
while viewing the eclipse or using a pinhole technique to view the solar eclipse. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for being with me till now. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you.